This video is adding a product, part one of two. Right, so I've already logged in, as you can see. And we're going to use this administrative toolbar here to go to content, add content, product. And then all the information that we're going to be putting in will pop up here in this overlay. And it'll have all the information from the name, the description, the image, the catalog type, the SKU, and the price. Those are the major ones we're going to need to worry about. So we'll go over here to the original site. The products we don't have yet in the new site are firearm cleaning and maintenance products. So we're going to go to that. And we don't have this product yet, the 4 ounce liquid. And as you can see, it's not showing up the picture here on this page. So what we're going to have to do is go over here to save the picture. clearly the product name, so we're going to copy and paste it in the new one. Here's the product description, but you see there's a little junk text here, and that this is where the product description actually starts. So we're going to copy that, and we go to paste the description, it is a rich text editor, so as you'll see, it has this overlay pop-up right here that we paste into and this strips out any additional formatting that shouldn't be there so it doesn't end up breaking your page. Alright, and now for the image. We already got one, so we'll just do this. We click upload, give it like a second, and now we have the image here. Now it's really important that we fill out this alternate text section because this is what's used by screen readers for blind people, search engines, or if for some reason the image can't be loaded, say on a low bandwidth connection, it times out or something like that. This is the text that will appear where the image would normally be. Um, it's most important for SEO, to tell you the truth, so you really want to make sure that this is filled out. And since this is a picture of the product, the product name is usually sufficient. If it's a picture of something else, you probably want to put something else in there. Another tip, when you're having alt text for your images, search engines place the most weight on the first term and then a little bit less on the second term, a little bit less on the third term, and so far. So, like for this alternate text, frog lube is going to be the word that's most strongly associated with this picture, which is going to be a good thing because when people go and say they know about frog lube, they go to Google, they type in frog lube, and your results can pop up there because it's so strongly associated. Alright, and then the last thing for this video is the catalog. You'll see that the catalog contains all the items here, all the types of items, I'm sorry. And you'll also notice that there are little tick marks. So what this is saying is that we have a category called free stride and survival camping. And then within that category, there are subcategories called go foods and mountain house. Now free stride, survival, and camping doesn't actually contain any items, but go foods and mountain house do because they're the lowest level of item. So for this one we're going to want firearm cleaning and maintenance. There are no subcategories for it, so that's going to be fine. Alright, and one last thing, if you do have more than one photo, all you have to do is just keep uploading. You can upload as many pictures as you want. And we will take care of all of this in the next video.